Hey! Hello and welcome to Krish Neristos Acton. I'm your host, Krish Neris. And this week I've got a bit of... A good news for ya. Uh, well, I guess not really for you. It's merely good, mer- good news for me. I have become... Uh, represented. My very first agency represented by AB Castings and Management. Now, as you can tell from my accent, I'm from Texas, and this agency is located in the UK. And you might ask, question, why are you being represented by someone in the UK when you're in Texas? Well, to be honest, I have been applying to everywhere in the world. You know, I applied to Australia, both Sydney and Melbourne, and uh, in the UK, I've all over the US, in Dallas, and Austin, New York, LA, Maryland, Ohio, I think even, uh, Detroit, uh, Pennsylvania, in Philadelphia even, you know. So the cool thing about being a voice actor is I can do all my acting right here, in this here booth. And um, yeah, as long as I've got the internet, I can send files anywhere. In fact, today's very video, I'm collaborating with somebody from Spain. And I've had clients previously from Portugal and Beijing, as well as all over the US. Uh, so I'm not really, you know, constrained by... I need them to be in my neighborhood. That said, um, I am looking to get more representation. That would be nice to have some local in Dallas um, representation. So if you happen to be an agency in Dallas and you happen to see this, which I, I highly doubt you will. But if you do and you like what you see, well, go ahead and give me a holler because I probably already emailed you. Just look through and look for uh, Krishnaris.com. That, that's me. Um, anyways, that aside, I'm very excited. Thank you, AB Castings and Management, for taking a chance on this mediocre actor. All right, that out of the way. Literally three minutes. I apologize. This week featuring the artist on Instagram as Sigdom. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It could be Sigdom, I, but Sigdom, S-Y, it's spelled over here, Sigdom. Um, thank you for letting me ruin your name and collaborate with you on your art. First up, we have the very spooky and intimidating RCN Yuiden. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Most often nicknamed just Yiden. Much easier. Uh, one of the main NPCs in the campaign that Sigdom runs. He is a wizard tiefling. Right off the bat. I'm pretty sure this is like the epitome of all of my um, videos. Tiefling and drow. That's all I got this week. And you better love it, internet. Because it's just three healthy heaping doses of tieflings and drow. Let's do this. Holds power in one of the main guilds from a nation. Players don't know much about him yet. I'm not going to say that in case it's a spoiler. Still, uh, he has some very soft mannerisms to him and tends to be pretty much friendly. While he's a bit of a bookworm and would rather stay in his own library, he'll go out of his way to help or assist around if needed. For now, he's mostly been that kind of NPC they ask or consult whenever they have some sort of question related to anything magic. That's cool. He's got a soft and, uh, soft and gentle tone, or soft and gentle tone. Uh, he tends to talk somewhat slowly, very opposite of me right now. He picks his words carefully, just like I do, soft and gentle, while also trying to be somewhat charming, I'm, uh, uh, although never flirty. Uh, enchantment school. He use effective names here and there, especially for those close to him. There's a lot of rhetoric questions sprinkled here and there. Vague. Okay, 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 except for when he gets mad. Uh, sort of cold anger. He wouldn't raise his tone. Okay. Got you, got you, got you. Okay, so I have quotes, which I love having quotes. His quotes are fun. Um, so, looking at the picture. Let's look at the picture. Oh, he's really cool. I like him a lot. And I like that brand of T 
tiefling horn, the sweepy backs. And it looks like he's got like horn piercings, which I'm super into, or like horn studs, which is really cool. Um, ooh, actually in that second picture, oh, well, the first one has it too. He's got like these, like almost like they're plated. That's really cool. Like they're chitinous. Um, got some plaits in his hair. Very nice. I love his eyes are dark with like the, almost like they're glowing. From, that's cool. So, he, um, soft and gentle. And he's a wizard. Soft and gentle. Wizard. So, a bit more down here, I think. Somewhat charming. A bit of a bookworm. Worm. Worm. Bit of a bookworm. Hmm. Welcome. My name is Ancien Yoiden. And as you may know, I am the representative of Eves and owner of the library. I'm of course at your service, and nothing would make me happier than being of assistance. <sighs> there have been some unfortunate mishaps while I headed towards the headquarters, and I need to excuse myself for this unexpected setback. I hope I may be able to compensate for it in any manner. The situation of late has been tense for certain. Most people are on the edge and willing to arm themselves. But I feel we all know violence is never the answer. I'm just hoping we can all sit down and talk like civilized people. Yet, times have changed, and many have forgotten the power of the spoken word. See, the differences amongst them are minimal, but anyone with a trained eye can tell plush apart from fluff. Plush has a slightly darker color and overall is more compact than fluff. Aren't they marvelous creatures? Talking about pigeons, by the way. Now he's upset. You know there is an end to my patience, right? You cannot just storm in my house and ask for my help in the dead of night. I won't always be here, and you better... Okay. Okay, just... Tell me what you need. Now when he's actually angry. You damned pitiful beings. This is enough. This is... This is as far as I'm willing to go. I had warned you about not meddling in my own affairs, and yet you kept sticking your noses where they don't belong. You will pay for your impertinence. Very scary. All right, next up. I, Lanthus Sresna. Nailed it. I, Ronthus. I, Lanthus. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Stark contrast to Yeden. He's a drow artificer who's been through a lot. Uh, he does show it pretty clearly. Lots of backstory, which I read ahead of time. But so this video is not 10 hours long. I will skip it. Thank you, Sigdom, for the backstory, though. It is very helpful. But I am going to, personality-wise, he's pretty practical, blunt, and pragmatic. He likes to go directly to the point and act quickly, uh, but he's still not too impulsive. Um, let's see here. Despite his attempts to appear somewhat menacing, he has a huge soft spot and age has mellowed him down. He's also adopted a kid, making his already overprotective nature become even more exaggerated. And he ends up being a grumpy dad more often than he'd like to admit. Uh, let's see here. He's about equivalent to the human's mid 40 so he's pretty, sounds pretty roughed up. Voice is somewhat low. Uh, let's see here. Exaggerates a bit. Whatever he needs to ensure he's getting his point across. Blah, 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 blah. Very passionate. Relaxed. Incredibly chatty. Okay, so quotes. 
presentation, maybe in a fighty situation. Fighty situation. Okay, okay, okay. So, oh, let's 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 look at him. Actually, I'm just like skipping things. Okay, I like the look. He's got a cool. So he's kind. He kind of reminds me of like a um, roguey, not like D and D roguey, but like Han Solo roguey kind of thing. Like I feel like that's probably uh, how. Yeah, got a very serious look. Very, yeah, I can see that kind of grumpy, but soft, you know, heart of gold kind of thing. Okay, so first quote, fighty, low, a bit uh, rough. Ah, the name's Ilant, I, ooh, the name's Ilantis. What, you expect more? Just a dude with a gun, and that's all that matters. Now, go on, get ready to fight back. Never give your back to the enemies. You can't shoot back at them with it. Just stay behind me. I can handle this shit myself. Talking about his kid. I don't mean to brag, but I'm pretty sure... Oh, I'm, 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 I'm ad-libbing. I don't mean to brag, but I'm sure my dear Valanzas can help you there. He's a great kid, you know? He's got his studies and everything. Talking about his past. Um, I'm going to try and skip quotes with big swears in them. Um, which is going to be really difficult in the next character because he's pretty sweary. Gardening. Okay, okay, listen up. I know you're fond of the hardy persimmons, but I find the soft variant to be much sweeter and more charming. No need to process them whatsoever. You just pick them up and from these beautiful, beautiful trees and after a quick wash. Oh, let me start over. Okay, listen up. Okay, listen up. I know you're fond of the hardy persimmons, but I find the soft variant to be much sweeter and more charming. No need to process them whatsoever. You just pick them up from these beautiful, beautiful trees, and after a quick wash, you can enjoy them and their juicy goodness. About Aosh. Aosh. I mean, he is an unruly kid, but I swear to whatever is holy that he's a good boy. You just need to look past all the swearing. And there's a lot of swearing. Speaking of Aosh, Aosh did a hell. Um, I like the character design here of this drow. He's very cool. I like the red like trench coat and the breastplate. In that second picture where it's like that noir black and white with the cigar, cigar. Yeah, he's just a cool, cool character. He's got like a robot hand, it looks like, and maybe it's armored. It looks, it looks robotic though. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so he's an overall, overall unruly kid, grumpy, impetuous, and very much a teen. Man, I'm a teen. <laughs> uh, messy past, which involved a cult. I read all this already earlier. He's paranoid and overly aggressive. Let's see here. It'll take a while. Okay. He's not really a bad guy, but can easily come across as it. He tries not to show his weaknesses. He's uncertain about many things and filled with self-doubt. So he hopes that acting first and never asking questions masks the fact he's really just a lost kid. He's kind of borderline anti-hero hero. Hero. Who that does hide a golden heart very deep down. Voice-wise, one of the most defining traits is that he speaks fast and he repeats himself. A lot of times, he will forget to take a deep breath and will keep going, especially whenever he's stressed or talking to himself. Uh, um, his tone is rather light due to his age, but he will try to hide that by adding as much swearing as he possibly can muster. 
He's willingly vulgar. I'm sure most of what he speaks isn't YouTube safe. Thank you. Um, when calmer, he may take his time to try to get his point across more clearly. But he's overall very bad at voicing his opinions or explaining himself. He tends to raise his tone of voice, but he may as well stutter when he's in doubt. <laughs> okay. Okay, so first quote, skip. Second quote, take a quick gander. It's gonna have to skip it. Third quote. Oh, maybe that one actually works. Nope, skip. Yeah. Uh, third one about magic. To bloody job done. Month convinced. Hey, I can do that one. I'll come back to it. Fifth quote, skip. Sixth quote, I'll do it. Sorry, I I know you wrote all this out, but I'm trying really hard not to drop f bombs. I know I have like monologues with f-bombs it's a double standard what are you gonna do um but for this series i'm trying really hard to keep it pg-13 yeah oh also it said that he's oh no was it the other one who had an irish accent do i have to do the other one again Oh no! I screwed up by Lanthus. At the very end, it says he has a somewhat Irish accent. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do them again. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do them again. I'm gonna do some of them again. The name's Alanthus. Alanthus. The name's Alanthus. What did you expect, Mar? I'm just a dude. Oh, I have to get real low with it. That's weird. The name's Alanthus. Oh, what did you expect, Mar? I'm just a dude with a gun. And that's all that matters. Now go on. Get ready to fight back. Oh, I don't mean to brag, but I'm sure my dear Valanthus could help you there. Oh, he's a great kid, you know. He's got his studies and everything. Okay, listen up. I know you're fond of the hardy, hardy. Ugh. Okay, listen up. I know you're fond of the hardy persimmons, but I find the soft variant to be much sweeter and more charming. No need to process them whatsoever. You just pick them up from these beautiful, beautiful trays, and after a quick wash, you can enjoy them in their juicy goodness. I mean. He is an unruly kid, but I swear to whatever is holy that he's a good boy. You just need to look past all the swearing, and there's a lot of swearing. Okay, did I redeem myself? I hope I did. This video is going to be really long. I apologize for that. No one's going to watch this. All right, back to Aosh. I thought he had the Irish accent. I got mixed up. Um... So, let's see here. Let's try this again. About his powers. Yeah, about the magic. Don't think about it. It's gory, it's messy, and it's bloody. Very bloody. But it gets the job done. Ilanthus spent half a month trying to convince me there's better ways to handle things, but who needs a gun when you can make their blood burst? Let me do that again. But who needs a gun when you can make their blood burst? Being honest, kinda. Okay, yeah, that was rude. Well, yeah, okay. Uh, okay, yeah, that was rude. Well, yeah, okay, I'm sorry, I screwed up. Again, shouldn't have called him a shit ass face, yeah. Okay, I'll be nicer next time. Is poop butthead better? Is poop butthead more to your liking? <laughs> okay. <laughs> With that, thank you, Sigdom, and thank you for anybody who has watched this far into this video, this chaotic and messy video. 
My name is Christian Harris. Please visit my website, ChristianHarris.com. Visit me on Instagram, at ChristianHarrisDoesActing. Twitter, Christian Does Act. Facebook, Christian Harris Does Acting. Uh, if you want to play D&D with me, I charge by the hour, just 10 bucks, not a big deal. You can have up to six players for three hours, just 30 bucks. I'm pretty sure that's a, that's a steal. It's not a steal, but it's a deal. Um, or I do DM mentoring for 15 bucks per person, or I do, um, that's not right. DM mentoring, I believe is, no. 101's 15 bucks. 101 is 10 bucks per person, and DM mentoring is 15 bucks per person. I don't know if that's true. You can go to my website. It's on there, krishnaris.com slash DM for those details. I appreciate it, and I love you all dearly. And I mean that. Everybody. Every single one of you. All 20 of you that watch these videos. All right, everybody. Bye. This is way too long of a video. <laughs> uh, where's the stop on this thing?